So we're here today at the University of Nebraska Meat Lab to talk about worker safety in the meat industry. And this is a laboratory, so it's not exactly what a meat plant would look like, but we've got much of the typical equipment that would be used to protect workers in a meat plant. And I'm here with Dr. Dennis Burson, who's been at the university for more than 30 years and has seen a lot of changes in his day. And we're going to talk about worker safety issues. A lot of times we hear that the meat industry is the most dangerous industry in America. Is that true? Well, at one time, uh, 25 to 30 years ago, why there was a lot of discussion about that. Uh, I can remember when I started my job, uh, there was a lot of injury reports and major accidents that would happen in a meat processing facility. But uh, today, things have changed. Uh, in the last report, uh, we're down to about 5.7 injuries per 100 people uh, as an industry in the meat and poultry industry. Now, even though that seems like a, still a significant number, that number lies where most other industries at that are in manufacturing. So what happened to change this and to make these improvements? Well, I think there is uh, maybe two or three factors that come into play. First of all, when it comes to worker safety, why then there's going to be some regulatory agencies that will be involved, such as OSHA and, and, uh, and the USDA. But then also the industry very, took a very strong approach because there's economic incentives to not have injuries in your workers. Uh, you know, health care and uh, care of your workers is very important. And so uh, over the years, there have been several things that have been done to try and prevent injuries and illness during the workforce. I understand that the industry worked with the union and with OSHA to create some voluntary ergonomic guidelines. Could you tell us about those? Yes, uh, and that was a big emphasis and push in the, in the uh, meat industry. Some of the processes that a worker has to go through are, are repetitive, and so they designed equipment, designed uh, movements that would uh, reduce the stress, uh, such as stresses you might have in your wrist or in your arms uh, or even your back and legs. And so there are several things that the uh, industry has done to try to address those. So I know that there are many different types of equipment that can be used in meat packing plants depending upon what products they're processing but can you give us a quick overview of some of the kinds of things we might see? Yeah, so what we have here is just a few things. Uh, we have an example of some footwear that provides protection for the toes and for slipping. We have uh, aprons that help protect uh, the individuals from uh, knife cuts. We have some examples of all the different types of knives that might be used in the meat industry, and many of them are designed with safety features in them. And then eyewear, and hearing protection. There are loud no noises in many parts of the facility and, and cutting out that noise is very important for preserving hearing. Safety gloves that are cut resistant and aprons that help protect the person in terms of uh, uh, water and liquids that would splash on them and so forth. And I guess there's the hard hats that were And there. yes, we forgot to talk about the hard hats. The hard hats are on the uh, allowed to protect the head. They're, they're actually approved by safety companies and so they are a feature as well. Why do you think this perception persists that the meat industry is so dangerous? Good question. I, I don't know. There are some, uh, uh, it may go back clear to 1906 when Upton Sinclair wrote a book about the meat industry titled The Jungle and in that book he describes some very poor working conditions that existed at that time and worker safety problems in the facilities. Uh, since that time, why there's been a lot of oversight, uh, uh, there's all, maybe have been some other reports that have come out, but that's, that's kind of something that uh, set a lot of things in place in 1906 uh, in terms of in not only sanitation cleanliness, but worker safety in the meat industry. So perhaps perception hasn't caught up with reality yet. It, it appears so because uh, uh, we continue to make improvements as time goes by and, and uh, I don't think anybody uh, that would run a meat plant would want to their workers to be injured or ill and so their goal is also to make sure that workers are safe.